The COVID-19 outbreak came to light in December 2019. It originated in China and soon spread until it was declared a pandemic in March 2020. Death rates exponentially rose and as it continued to spread, countries started imposing travel restrictions. Scientists around the world were working tirelessly to come up with a vaccine in the shortest possible time. By December 2020, Pfizer vaccines got approval for emergency use. In India, Covaxin and Covishield were given the pass in January 2021, and by April, so was the Sputnik V vaccine. Vaccine distribution occurred in phases, with the frontline health workers receiving it first. Now, this is quite a lot to take in, so let's start from the basics. What does a coronavirus look like? It is essentially a tiny spherical ball with protruding stick-like structures called spike proteins. Inside this ball lies RNA. Interestingly, viruses are as good as dead until they enter our bodies. Once inside the body, the goal is to keep producing more and more viruses. The spike proteins make it easy for the virus to stick anywhere, on our skin, hands, clothes, or any surface, ultimately transferring to the eyes, nose, or mouth. So what happens next? Inside the body, viruses become active. They start replicating, but where do they get the resources from? From us, of course. This greedy lot exploits our body's resources and energy to multiply in number. We become virus factories. What has nature provided us for defense then? Our body has an immune system, which is an army that fights viruses and foreign matter. Once it detects the virus, it creates antibodies or special weapons to fight off the pathogen. This process is called the immune response. Since COVID-19 is a new virus, the antibodies required to fight against it are not present in our bodies. Older people are especially at risk for developing severe illness or even death. That is where the vaccine comes to our rescue. How does a vaccine work though? Most vaccines contain a weakened form of the virus or a part of it. Life attenuated vaccines are a type of vaccine containing a weakened form of the virus. When injected, the immune system recognizes the virus and starts producing antibodies against it. All this happens without the virus causing the disease. Now, our immune system remembers to produce suitable antibodies when the virus enters the body. However, it is not easy to grow viruses in lab, kill them, and develop vaccines in bulk. An alternative method is by just introducing the spike proteins into the body. These cannot cause the disease, but can create an immune response in the body. Since these are the outermost protruding structures in the virus, our immune cells recognize them and fight them. Even so, spike proteins are tiny and often generate a weak immune response. Thus, we need additional components in the vaccines to stimulate the immune response. Remember how we talked about RNA earlier? Well, RNA is the instruction manual for every virus and contains the information for producing it. RNA vaccines inject the edited RNA of the coronavirus having the information to produce only a part of the virus, mostly its spike proteins. Thus, when injected, it enters the cell and produces spike proteins which induce our immunity to act upon it. Since RNA is an unstable molecule, these need to be frozen or refrigerated. Alternatively, to counter this instability, RNA can be carried in inactive carrier viruses. These are called viral vector vaccines. There are nearly 20 authorized vaccines worldwide and more undergoing clinical trials. Are you wondering which one you should take or should have taken? Don't. Every vaccine is remarkably effective. Why? Learn more about it in our next video.